What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to enable auto rotation on any app. Now I'm sure you've come across this, but some apps are obnoxious and force either landscape or portrait orientation without respecting your auto rotate settings. So you open it and then the screen goes sideways and you're forced to hold your phone differently. For a good example of this terrible design, check out the app Instagram. No matter what you do, it's always in portrait mode, even though pictures generally shouldn't be taken in that orientation. But I guess they all end up being square with a stupid filter on them anyway, so the service doesn't exactly scream quality photography to begin with. Anyway, to get back on track, there's a new exposed module that will force apps to auto-rotate. So obviously you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed for this one, but I've got guides on those topics available at the full tutorial. That can be found at the link in the description below this video, so head over there to get all set up. Then to begin, go to the download section of your exposed installer app and search Have Own Orientation, and that's all one word. From here, just tap the top result, then swipe over to the Versions tab and hit the Download button on the most recent entry. Android's installer interface should automatically come up at this point, so tap Install on this next screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Expose telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. Just tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification and Expose will take care of the rest for you. Okay, so now that we're back up, all apps will now allow for auto-rotation. So take Instagram, for example. Just turn your phone and the screen automatically turns with it. This is the case for apps that normally force landscape mode as well, so they can be used in portrait. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.